Hi, I'm Ed, and here today I'm going to talk to you about the Resident Evil series, which was the first video game series, in fact one of the first games I ever got for the PlayStation 1, and, well, <laughs> it scared the crap out of me. It really did, and then Resident Evil 2 came out, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, and it kind of started a little bit of um, obsession with it, if you want to call it that, as you can kind of see behind me here. I own every single Resident Evil game, every port for every single Resident Evil game, books, movies, action figures, gun memorabilia, even a frickin' energy drink. So I was looking on Amazon one day and it showed me a recommendation or something that they recommend for me. And lo and behold, I found this, Resident Evil 2 on the Tiger Gamecom's horrible gaming system. Holy crap. Instantly, I had to have it. It was only like five bucks. I went, all right, there we go. And I bought it. And I played it. Yeah. Well, I'll just let the gameplay speak for itself here, and I'll talk a little bit about it while you're watching it. Well, the opening title screen shows promise. What is this? This is not the Resident Evil 2 I was expecting here. Everything's choppy, you have all these delaying full animation whereas you press the button to aim and you have to wait for Leon to do his full little animation to move around the sound effects the sound in general just seems very very subpar there's no music there's no atmosphere to the entire thing everything just seems so choppy So basically, this is how you're allowed to move around the screen. There is a nine square grid that you are allowed to move on. And if a zombie is not in the same horizontal line or vertical line, you're not able to shoot him. That is just annoying. God damn it, get off me! Die, little zombie bastard. That's right, fall down on the ground, Just bitch. Oh, great. I haven't even found a single herb yet in this entire game or first aid spur. Ah, god damn it, get off me! Ah, oh, great, now what the hell am I gonna do? Oh, screw this crap. I'm getting out the shotgun. Alright, you little bastard, let's try this out now. Boom, shakalaka! Two dead zombies. I can't even play this anymore. Let's just compare the openings and the atmosphere of Resident Evil 2 on the GameCom and Resident Evil on PlayStation 1. Let's just compare the two openings again. I think we all get the point. Originally, when they were releasing Resident Evil 2 on N64, they were going to release a remake of Resident Evil 1 on the Game Boy Color, but Capcom scrapped it because they said, quote unquote, it wouldn't be scary enough. But instead, they made this one. Well, I'll tell you what, this one isn't scary either. So, that's my short game review on Resident Evil 2 for the Game Com 
system. Stay away from it. Stay away.